When I first put on the Under Armour Clone Magnetico Elite 3FG, it felt like a comfortable fit on my feet. The Clone Magnetico Elite 3 features your clone upper material, which was also used in the previous version Clone Magnetico Pro 2. The most impressive aspect of the previous version was the your clone upper, which provided a feel similar to natural leather. In this latest version, the same material is used for the upper, but it felt thicker compared to the previous model. While the previous version's upper would expand and flex to conform to the shape of your foot, I didn't experience the same effect with the Clone Magnetico Elite 3. Additionally, there is a thick cushioning inside the upper, which gave it a more substantial feel compared to thinner uppers. Wearing them, I found the overall comfort to be excellent. The forefoot is slightly roomier, while the midfoot is of standard width. The extra room in the forefoot did not lead to any slippage inside the football boots, and I did not experience any discomfort or pain in the midfoot. The Clone Magnetico Elite 3 features a detachable tongue. Many recent football boots are designed with integrated tongues to provide a snug fit. However, in the case of the Clone Magnetico, despite having a detachable tongue, it doesn't compromise the overall unity of the football boots, and there's no noticeable looseness. Additionally, unlike the previous version, this time, cushioning has been applied to the tongue providing an added benefit when making contact with the ball on the top of the foot. Next, let's talk about the insole. Under Armour pays careful attention to insoles for the comfort of their football boots. In the case of the Clone Magnetico Elite 3, they have used the same ortholite insole as in the previous version. It offers antimicrobial and odor-fighting properties and is sufficiently thick. When wearing these football boots, I felt that the insole was plush, and there was no overwhelming sensation of the studs underneath. The heel cup is built in and designed to be sturdy to protect the heel. It appeared that the foam padding used in the heel cup area in the previous version had been extended to provide even better heel protection. Personally, I had hoped that the issue of heel lift had been addressed in the Clone Magnetico Elite 3 but unfortunately, I still felt some heel lift, making it the most disappointing aspect of these football boots. The cushioning in the heel area seemed to have been improved compared to the previous version, which had no cushioning at all in the heel. However, it didn't feel extremely plush and was somewhat firm at first. This issue seemed to diminish after some time wearing the boots. Lastly, let's talk about the FG outsole. I felt that the outsole of the Clone Magnetico Elite 3 had been improved over the previous version. The previous outsole was prone to deformation and cracking, but this time, the outsole was made from a more durable material that resisted deformation and cracking. It also felt more rigid compared to the previous version. The stud length was standard, and the outsole featured a mix of conical and bladed studs. Traction was good, and I had no trouble making quick directional changes. I didn't notice any significant issues when testing them on longer artificial grass. However, it's important to note that FG studs are primarily designed for natural grass, and using them on artificial grass can potentially lead to joint injuries or stud damage. When I wore the Clone Magnetico Elite 3 and kicked the ball, it felt like the ball adhered well to my foot. Shooting also felt powerful, and ball control during dribbling was excellent. The texture on the upper, similar to the previous version, enhanced ball control during kicking and shooting. Passing and receiving passes felt smooth, with the upper effectively dampening the impact and preventing the ball from bouncing off. In terms of the upper texture, the Clone Magnetico Elite 3 had a similar feel to the previous version. The textured elements on the upper seemed to provide better feedback during kicking than during dribbling. Additionally, it's worth noting that the Clone Magnetico Elite 3 is slightly heavier compared to its predecessor. If you prefer lighter football boots for quick dribbling, this might not be the ideal choice. This review is based on the experience of a reviewer who typically wears UK size 8 in Nike and UK size 8.5 in Adidas, but wore a size 9.5 for the Clone Magnetico Elite 3. The fit felt snug overall, with the forefoot being a bit roomier than expected while the midfoot fit perfectly. I hope this review is helpful for your football boots purchase.